Hello. There was a Twitter DM I received. Is there a way to pass text field values from one page to another? Then write all values to the database on the last page of that app. Yes, it's possible. I'll go over how using the basics of passing and receiving data using URLs, then creating as the last step as requested here, and creating as the first step, which can be a very useful alternative. So imagine we have a form, which is a common use case in Bubble, and we do, for example, what's your name? And it's task, and then when we click start, we want to have tasks be passed onto the next page. To do this, we go to start and before, of course, we add a few next pages, so we have page one, two, and three. When we click start, we want to go to the next page. So navigation, go to page, page two. And now we have to go to page two, and we have to tell it to expect no data. Going back to page one, we can then keep data to send empty, but rather select send more parameters to the page and add one called field with input what's your name's value. So whenever we go to page two, it will take whatever is in the input and pass it on using the URL. Then on page two, we want to receive that data. For example, we could have a text field. We tell it in dynamic data to get data from page URL. Parent name field one, and this receives it. So it would say task here. And then let's go in further. Let's continue with the form. What's your occupation? Continue. Again, we go navigation. Go to page page three this time. We have to again tell page three to expect a different data type, which would just be empty. I'll show you why later and then send more parameters to the page. And we also have to do send current page parameters because we're already passing tasks as field one. And now we want to also pass field two, which would be input what's your occupation's value. Then on page three, what we do is what is your goal? And when we click finish, we want to add a new row to the database. So we have to first create a data type in our app called, for example, form data to save all the form data to our database. So we click new type added some letters and then we add some fields to it like field one two and three so i just clicked field name field one and made it field type text okay and then on the workflow when finish is clicked we just want to do create a new thing which creates a new row in the database of the type form data with field one equals field two and field three field one we have to get this from the url like we did before field one can now actually copy it paste it here and change the one to a two. And field three is actually from the input, what is your goal? And then we can do, for example, reset relevant inputs. And then we want to show this form data, for example, by doing, by the safest way is actually to have a group here. And we tell the group to expect form data and show, for example, the form data field one, field two, and field three. And now when the workflow is finished, we can do display data in a group, group form data, data display result of step one. So whatever we create in step one, we will display in the group in step three after we click finish. So let's try this all out. We're going to page one and clicking preview. So it asks, what's your name? I put in TAS, go to the next page. And now the URL is amended. It says field one equals TAS. And therefore it shows TAS here because it says get data from page URL, field one equals TAS. What's your occupation? Bubbler. And now it passes on field one and field two. And now what's your goal? Is the best, right? Like in Pokemon, and then I click finish, and we see the data here. Task bubbler be the best. We also would see it underneath data, app data, and form data. I already tried this before 627, 690. Okay, cool. And uh, now we want to do it by creating the data type in step one. So we have a new data type this time called carrier, and we do a list of texts. So we do a list of texts by selecting the check mark here and text. So we have a list of texts here. So on page one, we do what's your name. 
we click start and we actually create a new thing already here. In step one, and we do a list of text add, and we do input what's your name's value, because this is also a text with an input. So that becomes the first part in this list. We make it step one, and then step two, we actually delete this and tell it to send result of step one. So we send the carrier over. We also have to tell page two, the content type, to now be carrier instead of empty as we had it before. And then it will go to page two. In page two, we can do, for example, here, current page carriers list of texts, and it will show it. Then we go, what's your occupation, continue. We now want to modify it because we've already created the row in the database, so we just want to modify it. The same thing to change is current page carrier because it's the carrier we sent over because it expects a carrier. And then we do a list of texts and input what's your occupation's value. Then we go to page three. We can get rid of all this. Data to send is the result of step one. And again, we click to change page three to carrier. And then on page three, we can now have a repeating group instead to display all the values. It can be type carrier and I do current page characters list of texts. So it actually has to be type text because it's showing the text we added in the form. And here we just do current sales text. So it will always expect a carrier because the page type here is carrier and then it will show the current page carriers list of text. And then when we click finish, we again want to not create, but modify the current page carrier to the list of texts. We add the input value. Okay, so in the first one, we just created three separate fields. And now here we just have one field we're adding to and we show in a repeating group. So let's try this from page one. What's her name? John Ash. What's your occupation? Pokemon trainer. So here at the top, we don't see field one equals, but we just see the unique ID of a carrier. And to this carrier, we're adding now Pokemon trainer. Now it says Ash comma Pokemon trainer already here. And then what's your goal? The cup best. And then here again, we have always the same data type, but we're adding to its list of text instead of adding three separate fields. So that's it. We just used the go to page workflow to either send more parameters by adding a parameter or by sending a data type, which we just created in step one and keeping on modifying that. Hope this video helped you. Cheers.